my name is Ellie. I teach sewing and crafts at the library and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable fabric acorns. I'm super excited to show you guys this project, so let's get started. For this project you will need some fabric scraps, some acorn tops, um, something circular with a two and a half inch diameter to trace, so I'm just using this jar, some polyfill or cotton balls, fabric scissors, um, a needle and thread, a hot glue gun, and a sewing machine. So first you're going to take your jar and trace the top onto some fabric and then cut it out. So I've got some circles ready to go here. And then we're going to take our scissors and you're going to cut starting from one side um, just straight through the circle but when you get close to the middle, go ahead and stop, like that. And I'm going to turn it around and cut directly across from the first cut that I made. And again, stop close to the middle. Now I want to do another set of these cuts perpendicular to the first set. So then your circle should look like this. Now you're going to fold it in half so that you can see two of these sets of edges meeting up. And you're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew these um, together, starting from the edge and then sew right um, where the cut ends. So we're not going to sew in the middle. Do the same thing on the other side. And then um, open it up and do the other two sets. Okay, and then don't forget to back stitch as well. So once you've done that, your circle will look kind of like this. So this is the outside and here's the inside. So now we're going to take our needle and thread and I'm going to start on the inside of the fabric, pretty close to the top edge. And I've got a knot tied on the end. And then I'm just going to do a pretty wide running stitch all the way around the, the top edge of our circle. And the reason we're making the stitches wide is because once we're finished, we're gonna go back and pull the stitches taut so that the circle kinda closes itself. Okay, so I've made it all the way around my circle. And now I'm going to start to pull the thread so that the stitches gather. But before I pull it all the way taut, I'm going to take a pinch of polyfill and stuff it inside. And then I'm just going to keep pulling. Okay, and then before I tie this off, I'm just going to play around with the acorn tops that I have and see which one fits. This looks like a pretty good fit, actually. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And now we need to tie this off. So in order to make this um, top part really secure, I'm going to take my needle and just poke it through on one side near the top here and then come out straight across like that. Give that a pull and I'm just going to repeat that a couple different times starting from different points around the top.
Okay, and then I'm gonna take my needle and find one of the stitches that I just made. Pass the needle underneath. Pull it until you can clearly see a loop on the other side. And then take your needle, pass it through the loop, and then continue to pull the needle tight and that's gonna tie a knot. So I'm gonna do that one more time. Then I can cut this free. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my glue gun and put a dollop of glue in the side of the acorn top. And then quickly come in with my fabric and squish it inside. And there we have it. So here are all my finished acorns. This is such a quick and easy craft and great way to add a little bit of fall decor to your home. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.